Today we're going to make the Tesla coil MOSFET. Two capacitors, if you want to do this project, use CPB capacitors. You can use 0.3 or 0.47 microfarads. To MOSFET transistors, you can use IRF540. Mine is IRF250. Two 12 volt cinder diodes, two 10k ohms potentiometer, a power port, and an audio jack. Okay, let's get to it. Let's test it. Tesla coil test one. Three, two, one. What the? Why the light doesn't turn on? Oh, the hissing is warm. Oh, maybe we should change the direction of the primary coil. Okay, Tesla coil test two. In three, two, one, go. What the? Why it doesn't work? Was I wrong? Alright, I changed the frequencies of the primary coil so it can work as well. See if the light is close to the coil, it will turn on. Because there are too many voltage through the light, discharged in the light. But it's low current, so it won't hurt you. You see those arms between the wire and the screwdriver. They're kind of cute, but they're high temperature. The MKPH capacitors are now working good in this circuit. So finally, I changed them to the CBB capacitors. As you can see, the arcs are bigger than before. It's about 2 to 3 millimeters long. Look at those beautiful arcs. The power supply is only 12 volts. But the arcs are about thousands of volts. Is this amazing? Or you can use your finger to touch the secondary coil. If you stay on on it, it will all hurt you. Alright, thanks for watching this video. The secondary coil is used for another project. So see you next time. Oh, by the way, this is the schematic. Bye.